they do what you call like a pack line defense. So it's it's forcing you to you know make shots, and um, so that's just the biggest thing for us is we got to play together, we got to be ready to shoot the open shot, and we got to make them. Yeah, when playing against a defense like that, um, Malik, what what things can a team do, and you know things like a player like you or X who who excels when they penetrate, what can you do to sort of try to get closer to the basket, maybe get looks there as opposed to just shooting from the outside? Uh, spreading the defense out and just keep moving uh, constantly because you know that they're, they're going to play great team defense. But if you keep them moving, they're going to get out of position. And uh, you know it's going to be hard for them to react right away. So for guys like me, Xavier, Trey McGowan, you know, when we're able to penetrate, you know, guys that collapse in, and if we space out the right way, we'll be able to get wide open shots for guys like Jared, Cam Davis, et cetera. So. We had talked with X Balance. I mean, the UNC loss was your fourth one of the season. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the previous three were by a combined 12 points, so you all were in each of them. Um, how, did, how, how have you all seemed to sort of handle a setback like that where you lose by, uh, you know, by so many points? Has mm -hmm. things stayed fairly positive? Definitely. Um, you know, Coach always preaches this, you know, uh, next game mentality. We can't, you know, we can't go back in the past and fix what happened. We just got to make sure, you know, we fix, you know, uh, what we need to do to get ready for this next game versus Louisville. In this league, you know, everybody's good. So uh, we can't, you know, get disappointed on, you know, the last game for too long. You know, that game happened. We learned from it. And we're just going to continue to get better and get ready for Louisville. Clearly, the, the athleticism in this team is much better than, than last year. But other than that, what has been the biggest difference on your defensive improvement? You're mm -hmm. averaging, giving up less than eight and a half points a game less than last year. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, um, first of all, we're playing harder. Uh, that's Coach Capel's biggest thing is, you know, effort and energy. And then also, um, like you said, we're, we're way more athletic this year. We got a lot of athletes on this team. Uh, we play a lot of, you know, four guards. You know, that's pretty much our lineup uh, most times. So just being able to get out in the passing lanes, get in transition, you know, that's our strength as a team. So I think that's the biggest thing, biggest difference from, you know, last year's defense to this year is more athletes on the court. Is there a big, bigger emphasis in practice on defenses? Yeah, for sure. We're always, you know, doing drills to make sure our defense is tight and uh, just making sure we're sticking to the fundamentals. How much has that focus on defense helped the way your offense runs because so much of it has been transition driven? Yeah, it, it definitely helps because um, if we get stops and we rebound, we're able to get out and, you know, get to our strengths, like you said, which is in transition. So that's just the biggest thing for us as a team is um, that's, you know, that's how we create our offenses on defense first. Kind of in line with, uh, with the improved defense, you are taking a lot more, a, a lot more charges this year, um, you know, as opposed to, as opposed to a last season. What, I mean, how much more of an emphasis has there been on it, you know, and as someone who was here last season, I mm -hmm. mean, does that come from working on it more or does, or how much of that comes from, from just having new players and more athletic guys who mm -hmm. put themselves in position to draw those. I think uh, Coach, he always says, like, you got to do the little things. You got to do all the dirty work, make the uh, the energy plays. And that's what a charge is. So, um, you know, we worked on that early on. And we've kind of just, you know, it's, it's become a habit for all of us when, you know, when somebody drives, gets blown by, you got to be there in the help. And, you know, we only have one shot blocker on this team, which is Terrell Brown. So everybody else got to get in there and, you know, try to take a charge because we're not going to all block shots. So that's just the biggest thing for us, especially as guards. You know, when somebody drives, we got to be able to step over and take the charge. So, you know, those are winning plays. During practices, what, what does working on charges look mm -hmm. like? Like, what kind of drills do you do? To um, sometimes we'll do like a, a shell drill, which is, you know, two guys up top at the elbows guarding the wings, and then two guys, you know, in, on the, the boxes guarding the corners, and coach a drive, you know, past the one defender, and then the guy on the opposite side, weak side help. He has to come over and coach it kind of like, you know, not too hard, but he'll bump you over a little bit and you just got to step over and take the charge. So different drills like that. Do you have a wake-up pass sore the next day or any bruises? No, nah, like no, nah, it, it, it ain't that big of it. <laughs> the fact you gave up in, in, in the 80 to 85 points the other day, does that give you guys motivation? Because that was the, mm -hmm. statistically the worst game you had on defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, that team, uh, I think they're one of the top teams in scoring as well. So obviously they're a good scoring team. They play well together. They make shots. So for us, obviously, it's motivation because, you know, we want to – that's our identity is, is defense and our toughness. So we want to be able to, you know, keep guys under, you know, 70 points, whatever it is. Um, so I guess it's a motivation, but at the same time, you got to give them credit because they're a great offensive team. Uh, well, Lee, I was just talking – I'm sorry. I was, I was just talking to, to, to Xavier out there about 
like when he and then Trey, they, they're able to get by their guys, and then all of a sudden there's resistance. What, what, how, not difficult, but how do you guys, can you guys read off of what's going on when those guys are penetrating to make yourselves more available if you guys are playing mm -hmm. off the ball? Yeah, I mean, um, this is, uh, it's kind of simple plays in basketball, just, you know, that's the IQ of it, you know, having an IQ. Uh, when those guys get to the rim, you got to get to your spot, whether it's spacing to the corner or even, you know, back cutting, um, just making different reads like that. Uh, obviously, those those two guys are great at getting to the rim, so we got to be able to play off of that because guys are going to, you know, eventually step over like they've been doing, and uh, we got to be there to, you know, help them out to be, you know, outlets for them. In the aftermath of the Carolina loss, Malik, I mean, how much do you guys, you know, sort of contextualize a defensive performance like that where you look at, like, okay, like, Giving up 85 to to Carolina is kind of like giving up 60 or 65 to most other teams, just given how good they are and the pace they play. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, like I said, they're a great offensive team. So, I mean, I'm not saying 85 points isn't, you know, I'm not saying that's a good thing that we gave up 85, but at the same time, you know, they average, you know, close to that, if not more per game. They're one of the top teams in the country. So, um, obviously, we got to clean up some some things, but, you know, we're a great defensive team. and. Uh, when we're, you know, when we're at our best is when we're playing really good defense. So we just got to make sure we continue to just, you know, keep talking and keep staying together on the defensive end. I think you said Saturday that you felt like there was a, an energy lull when you guys went through that stretch where you weren't able to, to score. Do you, do you feel like there's anything uh, specific that you're going to do differently to correct that? Or do you just feel like that was kind of a product of it being first big game for a lot of the young guys in the atmosphere and, and that'll be something that resolves itself. Mm -hmm. I think it'll definitely resolve itself. I think it was it was new for a lot of the guys. Uh, you know, we have a, a couple returners from last year, but even so, I feel like that was probably the biggest game we've been in. And um, for the for the freshmen and for, you know, me as well, it was just a, it was a different feeling. But um, I think that I don't think it'll happen again because, you know, we have the experience now and we watched tape and we seen what we did, you know, uh, after that 12-minute timeout where it was a one-point game and it just stretched out. So just making sure we just key in on that and making sure that, you know, we stay together and those, you know, when when we get punched in the mouth that we're able to respond. When uh, when you all look back at the tape and since you've had some time to digest it, what stand as the biggest mistakes from that game? I think it was that after that 12-minute timeout, we just started, you know, making uh, boneheaded plays like we – uh, you know, we would go one on five in transition or something when we could have, you know, kicked it out to a guy in the corner or, you know, just pulled it out. And then that would result in them getting in transition. We wouldn't sprint back. We weren't talking as well during those, you know, that time. And we weren't making the effort plays. And uh, we weren't, you know, sticking to our game plan, getting out the shooters. They got a lot of uncontested threes. And those guys, are, you know, they got a couple guys that can really shoot the ball. So um, that was just the biggest thing was, you know, we made a lot of boneheaded plays. So we just make sure that in practice today we focused in on that and you know hopefully we won't make those you know same mistakes you know going forward